Establishing Trust Establishing trust is at the heart of our collaborate habit. If you don't trust a colleague or they don't trust you, you will find it challenging to collaborate with them. Ever had a boss, colleague or classmate you didn't trust? You would never want to be on the same team with them again, would you? Remember, trust is a necessary condition for collaboration. The higher the level of trust between two individuals, the greater the willingness to collaborate. Trust a team leader and you are ready to go to war with them. If they ask you to join their team for a new project, you would be ready to commit without questions. The task becomes immaterial. The excitement of collaborating with a trusted person overpowers any other concerns. Equally, you would dread being asked to join an exciting project, one you have been dying to work on, when you find it is being led by a person you can't trust. Similarly, you would never collaborate with external agencies, suppliers and consultants you don't trust. If that's how critical trust is to collaboration, it's time all of us pay attention to its science and practice. Harappa's Establishing Trust course does just that. In this course, you will learn how to systematically and deliberately evaluate whether you can trust someone, how to identify the element most important to you and others when it comes to trust, how to make yourself trustworthy, how to build trust for productive work relationships, how to repair trust when it is broken. We have an exciting constellation of faculty and senior professionals teaching on this course. Let's get to meet them first. Kostub Chakrabarti Mandar Vedya Pramat Raj Sinha Rina Mittal Nivedita Singh Quite a lineup, isn't it? Let's tell you a little more about the lineup of the Establishing Trust course so you can get started. The Bedrock of Trust The Body of Trust Testing Trust Building Blocks of Trust when trust rusts. By the end of this course, you will be able to build trust-rich relationships, be more trustworthy, and strengthen your Harappa Collaborate habit. We have several exercise sets of different formats throughout the course. Inspired by principles of behavior change, cognitive science, and learning psychology, our exercises will enable you to recall, understand, apply, Analyze, evaluate, and synthesize your learning. The primer is a set of questions at the beginning of the course. It will facilitate reflection, self-assessment, and goal setting. The practice exercises used throughout the course are a critical learning tool. They appear after key concepts to help you apply your understanding. Practice exercises are not graded. The touchstone appears at the end of each module. The touchstone will be your first graded assessment. It will also provide actionable insights for your progress. We can't say this enough. Practice builds skills. So do make the best use of our exercises to accelerate your learning. They'll ensure you reach the primary goal of this course, to become a great collaborator. Let's begin.